So how do we find the zeros of a polynomial using a graphing calculator as well as synthetic division? That's what we're going to talk about in this video. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to go to your calculator, your graphing calculator, go to y equals, and you want to input that uh, polynomial in for uh, y1. So then what we're going to do is we're going to go over here to graph, and you can see that it's crossing the x-axis at 1 as well as at 2. So let's just make a note of that. 1 and 2 are what are called zeros of our polynomial, meaning when x equals 1, y equals 0, when x equals 2, y equals 0. But you can see this is a fourth degree polynomial, which means that there's going to be four zeros. But you can see that two of them are going to be imaginary because it's not crossing the x-axis four times, it's only crossing at uh, two points. How do we find all of the zeros? Well, we know that 1 and 2 are zeros. Let's go ahead and do some synthetic division. So if 1 is a 0, yeah, let's put the coefficients of our polynomial here. 1, negative 3, 6, negative 12, 8. You can see there's no missing term, so we don't need to put a 0 for a placeholder. We bring down that first term, and we multiply in the diagonal. 1 times 1 is 1. Add straight down, that's negative 2. Multiply in the diagonal. Add straight down. Multiply in the diagonal. Add straight down. Multiply in the diagonal add straight down. Now you can see you're getting zero here, which tells us that one is a zero. And what we can do now, we also know that two is a zero. Let's go ahead and do synthetic division with two. So what we can do is we can, again, bring down that first term, multiply on the diagonal, add straight down, multiply on the diagonal, add straight down, multiply on the diagonal, add straight down. Now you see how we're getting zero again, so we know that two is a zero. And we started with x to the fourth. Every time we do the synthetic division, it goes down by one degree. So it's x cubed, now it's x squared. So what we have here is one x squared plus zero x plus four. And if we set that equal to zero, we can find the remaining zero. So I'm gonna subtract four from both sides. And that's x squared equals negative four. I can take the square root of both sides. Remember when you do that, you get two answers, plus or minus. Square root of four is two. Square root of the negative one gives us the i. So these are our remaining two zeros. Now, uh, if the middle term wasn't zero like it was here, you could still do the uh, quadratic formula. Once you get it down to a quadratic, you would just do uh, negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus four ac, all divided by two a and go ahead and put your a, b, and c. In this case, a is going to be 1, and c is going to be 4. b is going to be 0, since we didn't have that, that middle term. 